In a speech that he made on the 4th of June 1940, Winston Churchill set the tone for his nation, where he defied the march of tyranny in Europe and prepared the British people for the horrors and the struggle that was to come. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall never surrender. On the 8th of May 1945, he saw that mission accomplished. Hostilities will end officially at one minute after midnight tonight, Tuesday, the 8th of May. On September the 12th, 1962, John F. Kennedy made a speech where he set out a goal for his nation that would be completed within the next decade. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. On the 20th of July, 1969, that mission was accomplished. Jesus of Nazareth proclaimed himself to be the Christ. He taught, he welcomed sinners, he healed the sick, and he walked on the water. Then he was betrayed, beaten, and killed on a cross at the place called Golgotha. Three days later, he rose from the dead, he appeared to his disciples, and then he ascended to the right hand of his Father in heaven. Mission accomplished. The book of Acts, the second book written by Luke, says this in verse 1. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach. Did you notice that? All that Jesus began to do and teach. The implication there is that the book of Acts is about what Jesus kept on doing, the further acts of Jesus. The book of Acts actually shows us not that God's mission was accomplished, but that God's mission continues. God's mission continues in God's world, by God's Spirit, through God's people. On the 9th of September, we are going to begin a morning series in the book of Acts. We are going to look at this book together and we are going to understand God's mission and our part in it. So start reading it, Acts. Start praying for the ministry. And join us here at Seagate on the 9th of September at 11 o'clock, where we'll look at the book of Acts together and we will learn how God's mission continues.